So this is a drill to help you understand the shape of your golf swing and how a golf swing, a swing circle, a golf swing circle will naturally go back up and in, down out to the golf ball, to the low point, and ultimately up into a finish. I've got an aim stick that I've inserted into the grass on an angle, and the angle can vary. You could put the aim stick a little bit lower to make it more challenging, a little bit higher, more of a, you know, closer to a 60 degree angle versus the 30-ish degree angle I've got it coming out of the ground now. The point, if I take my hula hoop and I set my hula hoop in here on the plane of this 9-iron. So if I match this up, you can see here that this hula hoop fits underneath that white stick. And I'll show you here from down the line. So as you can see, the shape of this hula hoop on the incline fits nicely underneath this white stick. Now the reason I'm prescribing this drill to a lot of people is I don't really understand the shape of the golf swing. The fact that the golf swing is a back up and in and a down out to the golf ball, eventually to low point and back up to the finish. So you can see how I have the, ball, the stick positioned above the golf ball and I'm using a T-score to help me with my alignment. When you practice, always use something on the ground, whether it's a golfer's tool box that I use or just a couple of aim sticks. And in this drill, what we're trying to avoid is any kind of behavior where the club would come over the top, hit the stick on the way to the golf ball. Now, some of the things that would lead to you hitting the stick. If I set up and I turn my shoulders too flat, so my shoulders are now parallel to the ground, as soon as I initiate any kind of powerful motion with my body, that tends to swing my hands out too much, then the reaction is going to be a down and across steep motion. So, to help you with this exercise, remember that the shoulders, to turn effectively, once we establish our bent over address position, our shoulders need to turn perpendicular to that condition. When you do that, your arms are going to be able to swing much more freely back to the inside to strike the golf ball on the geometric shape of a circle, touching the ball, then touching the ground. So let's see if we can't do one correctly here. So I've got the club nice radius to the top of the green grass to the ladybug. Let's hit a little shot here. So there's a nice little strike where my club traveled more down from the top instead of around from the top. Because if it travels too much around, the down happens later. I'd rather have the down happen sooner, and then as my body starts to engage and help me square the face, the around portion happens later. So in the idea of sets and reps, let's do at least five balls in this configuration. And if you're up for it, do a couple more sets of five.